and today we are having the Abalawa 18 years old and it still bugs me a little bit that there are still distilleries that have never been into I've never been into the Abalawa distillery I've driven past it like I don't know 10 times 15 mm -hmm. times because it's just yeah if you go to Speyside Charleston of Abalawa it's just where you um, yeah, drive they, through. they have this big uh, red gate yeah very often it's closed <laughs> it's written in letters have a lower on it and uh well i pass it probably the same <laughs> <laughs> the same uh, times and uh i had once the chance to get into there hadn't been a a tour but i was allowed to take photographs so i got the pictures of the stills and i was really astonished how pear shaped those stills are mm. so they are not really constricted they do not have this uh, column uh, which which delivers a very very smooth and and elegant uh, raw whiskey no they have big huge stills i think four of them and uh, in the former times they just had a 10 year old and then they started to increase and up to an 18 year old and that 18 year old became scarce and scarce and scarce and then they bottled it in i think half a liter bottle <laughs> and then i said i thought yeah well might be over soon and now they're out with an 18 year old again and it's priced at a 128.50 for our uh, uh, viewers from the netherlands they will find it in the whiskey.com shop and uh, they changed the recipe for this whiskey so they have uh, American oak and European oak means more tannins, more intensity, and they have uh, Oloroso sherry cask for fruitiness and Pedro Jimenez sherry cask for uh, sweetness, and those both are uh, well finishing cask. I don't know if they having one part finished in Oloroso and the other part finished in Pedro Jimenez and then mixed it up. That had been the uh, the way Arbelauer produced in former times their whiskies and uh, probably today uh, they changed from one finishing cask to the next finishing cask but I have no idea if that's right <laughs> or not. Would it make any difference? I think so yeah. Oh this is holy oh and that is quite gracious. Uh, very few please thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't want to pour me that much, but the, the bottle wanted it. <laughs> uh, just this is a very yeah, that's a big hole at, at the top. This bottle. <laughs> ah, there you go. Uh, I have a new. I don't have the, the keyboard anymore. I have foot switches now. Mm -hmm. Again, so let's have a look. Do they work? Just have a try for me. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're not going to have any switching. <laughs> yeah. So it's very yeah. well. You made yourself comfortable. <laughs> no, I just tried to <laughs> push it a little bit further. Yeah. Mm. So this is definitely uh, sherry cask influence. A lot of it. I forgot to switch it on. I don't know. Just, just continue. Yeah. So dark, chocolate, heavy, full, really a sherry cask, whiskey. And how much alcohol does it have? 43%? I think they all go with 43, yeah. Yeah dark a little bit of spiciness showing through yeah your turn this is really 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 round this is uh, has a a lot of chocolatey goodness in it and a lot of cacao toffee and yeah kind of a I don't know what, what is that is there something like raisin marmalade <laughs> a raisin jam, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's called jam. It's just jam, huh? Yeah. Typically, it's a jail. Yeah, but it's it, it's nice. 18 years old. 
And they have, I think they have really good casks from what I smell from that. Mm. So it's heavy, a big, big nose. Yeah, full. heavy. It's, it's a, a very, very mature whiskey. Yeah. Definitely. Cheers. It's larger. Mm. I would have hoped that it has 46% because at the very, very st start on the tongue, it's a little watery. Mm. And then oak kicks in. Incredible. Mm. It's spicy, <laughs> it's licorice, uh, more nutmeg and spiciness from the oak. There's European oak in it. Uh. Definitely a lot more influence than from uh, ex-american oak casks mm -hmm. and in the very late aftertaste there's a little bit of sweetness from this peri Pedro Jimenez sherry cask mm -hmm. mm. oh, tons of oak oh, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't have to look at that camera but that camera <laughs> tons of oak oak yeah. oak oak and it's it has quite a lot of uh, um, European oak in it mm -hmm. you do feel the tannins which is Mm, that amount of tannins that uh, is in there, um, I've never, I'm not quite sure if I've never had that, but um, it really reminds me of like a heavy, a heavy wine, uh, minus that all that grapes and, and, and sourness Those from that. Barrick matured yeah. wines. Yeah, it's, and this it's, is completely different to oof. the old 18 year old in this half liter bottle that was just juicy, sweet. Yeah. Definitely. And this one is mature, mm. oaky, spicy. Yeah. And and I would even say bittersweet. A little bit. A little For bit some sweet, people yeah. could even say it's bitter. But it's a, a nice kind of bitterness. When you have it in your nose, you feel more of like, oh yeah, chocolatey goodness, milk chocolate. When you have it in your mouth, it's like, oh, this is not a milk chocolate. Yeah, this is no. a <laughs> bittersweet chocolate. Mm. And there are some, some Christmas spices mm. 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 hefty 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 so mm. i would go and have this this bottle with a warning <laughs> if you like the your whiskey matured very really really well then um this is the one for you if you if you're more in the lighter ones where you don't like the European oak, then no, this is not for you. <laughs> but there's just a very, very little aftertaste mm -hmm. uh, with this uh, dark chocolate influence. Mm -hmm. Very, very little. So it's not this uh, bad <laughs> chewing oak aftertaste. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, um, this is uh, dark chocolate in the aftertaste. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But if you would give me that in a blind tasting, I would say 30 years old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so it's really it feels a lot older than it is this is uh, compared to other 18s as you compared it to his brother 18 uh, is totally different so that just shows you how much uh, oak and casks have influence on whiskey yeah so if you happen to live in the netherlands this is sold uh, in out at whiskey.com for um, around 130 euros i'm not quite sure because of all the taxes and all that stuff that is different over in the Netherlands. Yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.